What's going on, y'all? It's 20F, and I'm here with... Big Goon. You heard him, Big Goon, a.k.a. King Shug. So, bro, just tell us, tell the people, what's up with you? You know what I'm saying? What you got going on? Tell us the ins and outs. Well, 2017, you know what I'm saying? I got me a management and a PR, so, you know, I really decided to take this music thing serious. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um, I just dropped... Uh, Big Goon, Merry Christmas on Christmas. Mm -hmm. And uh, we about to get ready to go into the Wolf of Morton Street. Um, that's going to be my first iTunes album. And we're going to have also have a short film with it. But it's also all the beats going to be um, produced by Matchbox. Mm -hmm. And the whole thing going to be mixed by Scoop. Okay, Scoop is who? My, my, <clears throat> my main engineer. Okay. Yeah, so, he mix every everything, any song I do or any song I'm on, he gonna mix my verse. Oh yeah, and we uh we about to start shooting season four, Attention Kills. So tell me a little bit about Attention Kills. You know what I'm saying? The whole acting scene that you got into. Attention Kills. That uh that wasn't my first time acting, but that was the biggest acting thing I had yet. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people from different states like it. You know what I'm saying? Watch it. It really, it really did good. Like I really get noticed from that a lot. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Attention Kills is a web series with a lot of what's going on in the district mm -hmm. and the DMV area. Period. Cause we got you know what I'm saying? Dooley from Baltimore in there. Um, King Paul from Baltimore in there. A lot of comedians. Yeah, so it just lets you know like a lot of different scenarios that goes on in the area. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like it though. And you mentioned Big Goon. Tell yeah. us how Big Goon, Big Goon did last year. Man, um, I got a lot of good feedback from it. A lot of people like it, man. And it just, and just from the feedback I got from it, made me want to grind even more. You know what I'm saying? It just showed me what. I haven't been seeing like the people fucking with it, so mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. So, what can you tell me that's different between Big Goon to your next project that you got coming up? Well, for Moore Street is gonna be more professional. I'm gonna have some radio singles on there, like see, like with any other album I put, I never went into it like looking for radio singles or this gonna be my single for the streets. Mm -hmm. I just went straight into it and just was recording and I just picked songs and we made it a mixtape. More professional? Yeah. Okay, so tell us a little bit more about 1813. Well, um, basically I'm new to 1813, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I've been with 1813 for almost two months now. And um, a, lot, a lot have perspired out of just being with them and it's just like, it just got more business. I got just like I got my business straight. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got I got people that's gonna work with me and for me, just mm -hmm. to make sure everything is right for me. And that's what I've been missing my whole career. Yeah. How long have you been rapping? I started rapping about 2011 for real, 2010. Mhm. Mm yeah. So what was what was the name of your first project that you came out with? My my first solo project because first when I first started I was in a rap group called Major Boys, mm -hmm. and then that ain't work out. Then um I took some time off. Then I linked up with my man J Five. He's a great producer in the DMV area, and when um, we recorded my first mixtape called Street Legend, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? We got. A few of the DC artists on there. We had Fat Trail on there, Shy Glizzy, uh, Mike Brown, the Zar. We had Uptown Killer, Goo Glizzy on there. We had Pinky Killer Corn on there. You know what I'm saying? And that was my first mixtape ever. So on your next mixtape that you're coming out with, do you got any features on there? Um, we was just discussing that today. See, um, um, my next mixtape is probably gonna be a mixtape with my label mates mm -hmm. so we ain't really we ain't really got no set dates for no mix things but basically we focus in on that itunes album so the label that you're with is 1813 yeah. do you ever see yourself signing if a major record label came down to sign you do you ever see yourself signing yeah because it ain't like they just signing me mm -hmm. you gotta sign 
The whole gang. Who I'm with. Yeah. It ain't, because it's, see, like, with me, different between me and all these other local rappers, they so more for self. Mm -hmm. If anybody know me or listening to my rapper, anybody, most of these niggas with buzzes in the District of Columbia, man, you know what I'm saying? They was, we was rapping together before you even knew who they was. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's, and it's not about self for me. I'm with seeing everybody eat. I don't want nobody around me that's broke. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Do you feel like that's the reason why a lot of people from here with talent isn't on? Because we have so much hate. We got so many people that's just for self. How do you feel about that whole situation? It just, it just make it look sad because it's like, is these niggas stupid or something? Or is they blind? Which y'all can't see the big picture. It's fucking numbers in unity, man. Mm -hmm. Like, you got so much talent here, Slim. And it don't take nothing for for the top, for 40 dudes bubbling right now to just link up. You don't even got to record no song together. Mm -hmm. Just for the people to see y'all together, Slim, that would be a great look. Mm -hmm. But guys don't see it like that. They got so much pride. You know what I'm saying? And that's what hurt my city so much. We are so prideful. Mm -hmm. I used to be that way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? What but I had, I had to look at the big picture. What's you know what I'm saying? If, if we get unity in this city, snap, and, and, and everybody stop being about self, every, you will see foreign cars driving up and down every street in the whole DMV. Mm -hmm. If you look at any other city that's on Atlanta, Chicago, Houston... Them main niggas fucking with each other. You can't be dissing and doing like that. That's, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Do you do you feel like you know or have the answer to where a, you know where it changed? Because at one point, we called D.C. Chocolate City. We was with, pro, with, with unity, loyalty, morals. What changed? What changed? They moved them white folks in here, man. And they took over all, you know, you know, we are only... We are only black, African Americans are only 30% of District of Columbia. At one point in time, we used to be 70% of the city. Mm -hmm. And that was seven years ago, the, the Chopping City DVD came out, son. You hear me? Cap talking about the city being Chocolate City. This ain't Chocolate City no more. Yeah, I mean, I mean, what can you say? You know what I'm saying? What can you say? It's I not in your control, control, you feel me? It's not in your control, is it? But, we do got to stick together. But if more people take in heed of what's going on around them, that would help a whole lot more. When you're so caught up in self, you don't know what the... you Because you're so caught up in self, you don't give a fuck what's going on around you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? These guys can help in so many different ways, man. We understand what you're rapping about. All right, that's how you get your money. But what you're going to do... When that when that city that ain't got shit feeding you, what you gonna do to give back to them? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's my whole objective in this rap game. I, I want I want my inner city kids to have to be able to do what they want to do, mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. not be forced to sell drugs, not be forced to use drugs because you got so much going on. Like like ah, uh, you go to the army, right? And they send you home for a postpartum, you know, like from seeing people get killed and shit. So what can they do for a kid that sees somebody get killed in the street like three times a year and I'm eight years old? Where you going to send them at? What doctor you going to send? They don't, they don't evaluate none of that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You don't think that fuck a child up? So, you know, I mean, you, you're you talking know? on a lot of politics right now. So let's touch bases on Black Lives Matter. Give me your whole input on it. How do you feel about it? Black Lives Matter. I I understand it. Hey, because black lives really do matter because they are taking our lives like it's nothing. But what we also got to <coughs> understand, we taking each other lives too, though. You hear me? And, and I understand, like, stuff going on in the streets. I'm from the streets. But niggas are kill a real nigga, Slim. And you got... 30 niggas out here telling on niggas, getting niggas locked up that's walking the streets without no worries. Mm -hmm. Like, what have my city come to? Like, niggas still hanging around snitches after they know niggas not told. Where the fuck they do that at? Do you feel like you can be somewhat of a contradiction towards that maybe your music may portray the opposite of Black Lives Matter to what you're saying right now? 
You know what I'm saying? Because you come from the streets, right? But also you believe in unity. You believe in sticking together. Yeah. You believe in not killing each other. Yeah. But then again, your music may say or show different. You know what I'm saying? Explain to us why you uh, do this. Or why music, other artists do this. I speak on my experiences. Mm -hmm. And see, with me, with with the youth that listen to my music that's in my city that I can touch, I, I go out and I talk to them. I let them know, like, my music I'm rapping about, that's my life. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to go that route. Nigga, that can motivate you to be something way bigger than what I was or what I am. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, certain songs, it could be talk about all types of shit. But Young could be in the gym working out, getting his game right. Mm -hmm. Or doing anything in the house studying. The reason why I asked you that and your answer reminded me of Tupac's answer. Because a reporter asked him the same thing and he gave somewhat of a similar answer. Because he's, he's one of the biggest contradictions. You know what I'm saying? A contradictor. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? That's one of my favorite rappers, so that's why I asked you that. You gave a similar answer. Who's one of your favorite rappers in the industry right now? Dead or alive? In the industry? Favorite? I'll go with Tupac, yeah. Tupac. He was speaking the really shit. Biggie, he did too. You know what I'm saying? Let's get back on local, DMV, DC, PG. Yeah. Is there anyone in the industry... Not industry, but is there anyone locally famous that you would like to work with? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Locally, that's buzzing. Man, I wouldn't mind working with Light Show, Trail, Shy, all them. So that, I don't mind. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm saying? If we know each other, you know what I'm saying? They know who I am. I know who they am, who they are. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, you know, it's, I don't know. It's that D.C. thing, man. Yeah. So tell us, let's get back on you, not nobody else, but tell us what's up with your campaign. Tell us more about your campaign, what you got uh, going on with your campaign. My campaign is Goon Squad Entertainment and Really Ready Game. That's what I got on Double Live. You see the GSC right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's it's like, it's a neighborhood movement. It's, it's like, I got about five artists. I got Lloyd Black. Rain the Rider, you know what I'm saying? Flash Shorty Shay, Young Los, um, Louis Black got something about to drop. We working though, and I'm um, with the Really Ready Gang. Basically, that's my man, Big Ready shit. And like, we grew up from the dirty, younger than me. That's his shit. I'ma rep his shit like it's mine, cause that's my brother. Mm -hmm. So Really Ready Gang. And Goon Squad just affiliates. Yeah. It's not all in one. You might as well say it is. It's all the family. Mm hmm Okay. Bro, any advice that you want to give to the people that look up to you, people that want to be rappers, you know what I'm saying, anything that they want to fulfill, any of their dreams, any advice you'd like to give to them? All I can say to them is be yourself. Just because you seen the guy before you make it that way, don't mean you can take them same steps, man. You hear me? You got to make your own lane. Do find something you're good at. It's basketball, baseball, math, reading, and master it. Whatever you good at, if you good at it a little bit, master it. Master it, then, And go get you some money with it. Get your education. I wish I could have went to college. I was in the feds at 20. So, you know, give us a little one minute of how your life was before the rap game. Like Man, 60 seconds. Give us 60 seconds. I, I grew up northwest, Washington, D.C., um, 640, one of the worstest neighborhoods in the city. Man, you know what I'm saying? Growing up, nigga, I seen people get killed, all that, selling drugs my whole life. You know what I'm saying? I've been in and out of Oak Hill and out of jail my whole This is the longest i ever been home my whole life. You know what I'm saying? And then and last year was the first time me and my brother been home together since we was adults. You know what I'm saying? And to see my mother smile on Christmas and them to have us in the house together, it, it was a great feeling. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? But growing up in DC was hard, Slim. And then and then I moved from six forty and I moved out Kenland. Mm -hmm. When I was in like the sixth grade, I moved out Kenland. Fifth grade, matter of fact, I lived out Kenland from fifth to seventh grade. 
I was out there thugging, you know what I'm saying? My man Lowe's from 2-5, rest in peace, man. That was my man, me, him, and Rube. But then we moved back to D.C. My mother got a house in Northeast over by Saratoga. That's when that became my second home. I was over there hanging with them. I was like the eighth, it was eighth grade summer, matter of fact. Mm -hmm. We was in the club. Uh, we got the fighting and shit. Then we got outside. I had a fucking deuce deuce. And the nigga started shooting. Then that's when I got shot in my foot and my legs, man. Then I did that. I started to really get into the trap shit. I was hustling like a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Kept getting locked up. And um, we started a go-go band around my way in 2004 called Naughty Boys, man. And that's when I really got into the music, you know what I'm saying? My best friend, rest in peace, Ed, Easy to God. He was the rapper. Um, He was the rapper. Uh, So this was up to about 2006. Um. 2005, I caught my first adult charge. I went on a run 2006. My man Ed was the rapper. Like, he really took rapping serious. He made his first CD. I think it was like 2004, 2005. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I pushed him. I really wasn't rapping. Then that's when I, 2006, I went, I got locked up, went to the feds. Then I came home. Then I got back into the go go shit. And then I had some, uh, promoters team major they came to man was like man you should try rapping man we about to put this group together woo 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 and so then that's when we uh, formed major boys and then after that then that's when i started doing my own thing so you're here now yeah okay so before we close out go ahead and tell the people you know what they can expect with the future projects that you got going on, mixtape singles, you know what I'm saying, where they can find you on social media from Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Google, all the above. Facebook, you can find me at King Shook. Instagram, I'm at King Shook. Two underscores, GSE. One more underscore, RRG. You can get me on Twitter at King Shook, GSE underscore. But uh, we working on um, the Wolf of Morton Street right now. It's gonna be my first album. Um, we putting together the short film for that, and then we working on a couple mixtapes with a couple of my label mates. And our uh, man Big Ready gonna do something. Uh, my uh, the producer Wonka, he from the city too. He got uh, a lot of songs for my man Easy the God that passed away, and I'm gonna put some verses on there, and I'm gonna put out a mixtape with me and him. Okay. All right, well, I appreciate it. All right, child, man, we about to close out. It's 20F, and I'm here with my good man, King Shug. Appreciate it, bro. Man, I appreciate you, man. Um, we gone. Big goon with a big glock. No, no, I do not merely rock. But I take a big block and break it down to <laughs> This big goon, I just had an interview with 20F. Shout out to 20F. Got a lot of 20s on me. But shout out to 20F.